Hello, hello, my heathens. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. Today's vlog is going to be a little different than usual. It's not going to be one of my typical flip-flopping here and there, showing you a little of this, a little of that throughout my day or my week. Today is just going to be a dedicated shop update vlog because typically when I update my Etsy store, I will update one product here, one product there, then a few weeks later I'll add another little something, I'll do a little restock over here. Well, today I am launching two brand new products and one restock. But before we do, give me a little, just one more hit of today's fragrance. Every time I do that, some ends up getting in my mouth, so I'm a little, I'm a little scared of doing that now. Typically I will spray all in this area, but when I do one of these, it always ends up in my mouth. Today's fragrance is Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium Intense. This is a little too sweet for me, a lot too sweet for me, actually, but she's pretty. I like her. We're going to wear it. I like my fragrances to lean a little bit more mature. Grandma, old lady, fancy, chic, sassy old lady, and this is not that. It was supposed to smell, according to the notes, like absinthe, coffee. I don't remember if incense or tobacco smoke was one of the notes, but maybe I don't get any of that. Coffee? No, I would know because that's what I'm drinking all day, every day. Mm. Absinthe? Definitely not. I smell no absinthe in here whatsoever. And smoke? Maybe I get like a sweet leather, but no, nope, wrong. But she's nice and I'm wearing her and she makes me feel good. So you know how I am with my scents every day. Candles, incense, perfume, have to do it. Shop update, damn, with my tangents. Somebody needs to just reach in and just, every time I go on a tangent. But if I didn't go on a tangent, would I even be me, right? Let's talk about the shop update. So what is coming to the shop? I'm actually going to take you over to the desk to give you a proper overhead shot of what is going to be in the shop. So I will do that in a moment. I have a brand new pin design, a restock and a slight redesign on my very first pin. And then I have the minis, you guys, the minis. Insert fanfare noises here, confetti, maracas, something, the minis have finally appeared in the shop. And again, I will talk a little bit more about them when I when I take you over to the desk and we can chit chat over there. But, well, you know what, let's just do that now. Let's do that now. And then I will reconvene a little bit later to chit chat about a project that I have in the works. So let's go over to the desk. Okay, so these are the Fresh, shiny, and new acrylic acrylic pins that are going to be for sale. Well, I say going to be, but by the time you watch this video, they are already live and in the shop. If you have not watched any of my previous vlogs or seen any of my posts regarding my pins, I just want to make a note that they are indeed shiny, smooth, and delicious. As you can see, this one, this one's mine. So I'm setting her aside, but when I send the pins out, they are going to have the protective film on them. That is to ensure that they don't scratch or get damaged in transit, but I have lifted a bit of the film to make it just a little bit easier for you to peel off because the film is a pain in the behind to remove because it's tightly on there to keep the acrylic safe and scratch free. Duh! As you can see, there are striations on some of the little film pieces, the little coating. You see that? But that will end up looking just like this when that is removed. Okay, so we have those and those are a brand new pin design. I have some exciting news regarding that design a little bit later in this vlog. Oh, and I want to say that for the first 
10 people who order a pin, you are going to be receiving a cute little mini art print. Look how cute she is. These were beautifully printed. I'm not sure if this is going to translate on camera, but the dark purple outline is actually a relief print, a very subtle relief, but they're gorgeous. But those are going to be just a, just a little something, a little something for free in celebration of not only the new pin design, but as you'll learn later in the video, some exciting news. So those are the spooklets, and then the spooklet pin, and then the next pin that is going to be for sale. I still haven't put them on the backing card, but I will be doing that momentarily. The restock and slight redesign of my first pin, which is the retro deco cover girl. If you have the first iteration of this pen, do not Iteration, iteration, how do you say that? I'll say iteration sounds more natural to me. Is it wrong? I don't know. But if you have the first iteration of that pen, don't rush out and grab the new one because they are pretty much the same. As you can see, the only differences are that this one, I was debating whether I wanted to go with bold colors or keep it pastel. Well, I ended up keeping it pastel However, I did change the colors just slightly, just a little bit. Not a whole lot, the differences are negligible. I think the most obvious change is in the orange. This is more of a peachy orange, this is more of a warmer yellow orange. And then there's a little bit of a difference in the green. This one's more of a blue aqua, this one's more of a true minty green. The pin is larger, that's the biggest difference. You can see what a big honker it is. Turns out, yeah, I like the acrylic pins being huge honkers. This little one is cute, but baby, look at this. Look at this, a big deliciousness. Yeah, I love that. Um, that's all I have to say on those. So that's that on the acrylic pins. And then the next item that everybody has been waiting for, I know some of you have been waiting for these. I've been working on these for centuries. Well, they are finally going to make it into the shop. The minis. Ladies, gentlemen, creatures, the minis are now in the shop. And I indeed have stuck with what I said I was going to do. The plan was to release them at a certain price point. I'm going to be releasing three of these per week and three of these per week, three every two weeks. Still not decided on that, but I think three per week for the moment. But two of them are going to be at their regular price and one of them will be discounted. Now for this round, they are going to be priced at the $36.50 and then the one that's going to be at a discount is going to be $26.50. That may change a little bit later. Pricing on Etsy is a little bit weird. I haven't figured out what a decent price is for these yet, but they're affordable and that was the key. They are always going to be under $40. That was the plan from the get-go. It's just, for now, we're just sticking with $36 and $26, okay? So two of them are going to be regular price, one of them is discounted. That's just my effort to make things affordable for even more people. This is, it's a fun year. This is a good year for me. I'm adding more merchandise that's affordable, not just originals anymore. I have prints, well, I've had prints for a long time, but last year we introduced the candy gloss prints, which are beautiful and this year we are playing with the acrylic pins and now we are playing with adding affordable little originals to the shop. Exciting. More exciting news in this vlog, so keep watching, keep watching. Let's go talk about it now. Let's go. Let's go back over to my other desk and we can chit chat about it. All right, so now that you've had a proper little view of everything that is going to be in the shop. Well, everything that is in the shop now. By the time you are watching this vlog, the items will be live. So head on over to the shop, grab yourself a little something or just window shop. That works. 
Um, let's talk about what I have in the works because normally I wouldn't talk about this in advance. Typically, the way that I do things is when I'm working on intense projects, labor intensive, um, time consuming projects, I keep the lips zipped. I do not flap my gums about it up until everything is about ready to launch within a week or two or sometimes up to a month in advance, but typically I keep it to about a week or two in advance. But today I'm going to talk a little about what I have planned. We're doing things just a little bit different today because I was debating about whether or not I wanted to release the Spooklet pins just yet, but because you've been seeing them in my vlogs, because I've been mentioning them on my Instagram, I thought, okay, girl, you just gotta release them. You gotta release them and I already have other Spooklet themed merchandise. Well, okay, Spooklet is an umbrella term. Spooklets are all of my girls, all of my spooky girls, all of my cute spooky girls with the skulls everywhere. Those are Spooklets. But this one in particular, she's my purple Spooklet. And she is of course the cover for my first Spooklets coloring book. Notice that I said first, volume one. Is there a volume two? Yeah, maybe, I don't, okay. So <laughs> she was released of course as an acrylic pin and as postcards. There are postcards in my shop and then I have some cute little uh, bookmarks. There are mini bookmarks that I created with the intent of people, you know, picking up a few to just use in their scrapbooks, to give to their friends or to use in their coloring books when they're coloring. I sell them three to a set, really inexpensive, just cute and all of that. She's also my business card. She's kind of become my brand ambassador, if you will. She's my muse. She, not Well, not my muse. She's kind of my mascot. I think Ralph is my muse, right? <laughs> Mr. Golden Ralph, or he's also another mascot. I don't know. In any case, she's my girl. She's my girl of the moment. And because of that, I've decided to, well, I decided months ago, months ago, I'm talking last year. We are in May now. If we are not creeping up on May, we are definitely in May by the time this video posts. But since last year, I have been hunting down a means of producing products. And by products, I mean merchandise. Well, I'll leave it at that. But I, I wanted to get away from using places like Redbubble or Society6 because they're, although the, the quality of their products are great, no issues there. I had ordered samples from them from Society6 and Red, Redbubble, everything looked great. But I wanted something that was a bit more personal, something that I can integrate into my Etsy shop. And then someday, someday when my audience is larger and I can sustain my own website on my personal website, um, my own personal shop on my website, I mean. I wanted to look for a production partner that will allow me to do that. I'm on Etsy right now, which is great. I don't plan on leaving Etsy anytime soon. With the volume of sales that I have being as low as it is, my audience being small, Etsy makes everything so easy to manage for me. I can print my shipping labels on Etsy. I could, it's, it's just, it's wonderful. Etsy's great. The only thing that I don't like about Etsy <clears throat> is that I don't have a dedicated page. So basically it's my Etsy shop front, but I'm basically a boutique in a giant mall of other boutiques. Does that make sense? So it's me and then right next door to me is another vendor. And while that's great in a way because it helps people find me and it drives traffic to my shop front, I would someday, someday, hopefully, like to be able to sell products directly through my website. I never plan on leaving Etsy completely, but I would like to maybe release limited edition items or special release items. Excuse me, I have the burpees on my website. So I've been looking forever, just hunting down a production partner that will allow me to do that. 
and I believe I have finally found one. And this production partner will allow me to integrate their services into my Etsy shop. And I will talk a little bit more about that later, but I'm just going to leave it at this, that I have samples that are arriving, they should be arriving this week. So I have some already that I'm not going to show you, but I've been waiting for the rest of them to get here so that I can definitively decide what products it is that I want to offer when the time comes. We're not talking until late spring, early summer for this, but considering that we are already in May, that is creeping up quick. Here's a little, here's a little preview. See what we have here? She's a little wrinkled. She's a little wrinkled. I didn't steam her when I took it out of the package because I was just excited. Hello. I wanted to show you right away. I did try it on and she looks amazing. But here, I'm trying to, uh, trying to center her so you can see it a little bit better. This is a tank. This is a tank top, a lovely soft, Try blend purple, of course. Um, I'm waiting for more t shirt samples though, because this company offered various t shirt styles, but I wanted to go for the soft touch that I personally like to wear. So these are not some generic t shirt, these are Bella in Canvas which we love, right? I know I wanted to go with either American Apparel or Bella and Canvas for my products because I wanted a good quality, yummy feeling, soft t-shirts. But let's not wax poetic today because as I said, I usually like to keep these sorts of projects until we are just about to release, but I'm excited and things are happening. And since the spooklet is now in the shop, I just wanted to give you a little teaser on what's to come. If you want to stay updated on the release for those products, I'm going to have the full splash page, all of that good stuff ready to go in a newsletter. Go to my website, click on the collections link, and you can add yourself to my mailing list. I'm not going to be sending you crappy junk mail 50 times a week, that's not my style. I'm just going to keep people updated on when the collection is going to be available for sale. I'm excited. My life is falling apart all around me right now, but art is my saving grace. So this is keeping me happy, this is keeping me busy, and that's gonna do it. Go to my Etsy shop, shop, window shop, do whatever. If you don't wanna buy anything, well, what are you doing? Just subscribe to this channel. Stalk me on social media, that works too. If you want to show me a little bit more love, join me on Patreon for exclusive. You get exclusive coloring pages, behind the scenes peaks. And starting this month, I'm going to start taking requests for artwork from my patrons. So, ooh, I have a lot to do today. When do I not? I'm busy, so shoo, shoo, go do something fun today. Be bad, be good. I don't give a damn which. Just get your little ass back here in one piece. Thank you for being here and I will see you in the next one.